in for MOT and oil and filter change, so I'm going to get on with that first thing. In the other video, the um, engine management light was on, so he thinks he's found the problem, um, which was a corroded connector on the ECU down here. So that's pretty chuffed that that's hopefully fixed it. And then, um, what are you up to now? Just going to plug in the diagnostic. Just going to make uh, clear the memory of the codes, the fault codes and stuff. So I think that's that'll be cool, and that'll be all done. Um, and I'm on with MOT on Mog's bike, which is over here. Here's Mog. Hello. Say hello. <laughs> so, all I wanted to do, I'm just going to quiz Mog because um, Mog's been doing quite a cool deed at the moment. He's been getting involved in litter picking, um, kind of taking it on his own initiative to go out and collect rubbish from the side of the road, which has basically been bugging you because it's it looks it looks a mess. People just chuck the litter, and I think for whatever reason the council don't or can't get to that area of stretch of road to pick it up. So, Mog's taking it upon himself to go and clear it and turn into quite a big quite a big thing now, hasn't it? Um so yeah, yeah. joined um Facebook group and yeah, how many members have you got? About six hundred and fifty now for our local area of D side, yeah, it's quite a lot. Yeah, so it's turned into quite a big group, so I thought I'd quiz him and put him on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> so just just to ask, what what made you wanna basically get off your bum and go out there and pick up litter? Just because it's a mess. And um, just because and we've been going out cycling that way as well and seeing that this side of the roads are just a disgrace really. Yeah. And, and I like to be active and because I don't go mountain biking or enjoy a riding or anything like that, in lockdown I thought get out there and sort of make a difference and join with a whole load of people to make a difference really. So it's yeah. good. It's good. A bit of satisfaction as well. Meet new people and whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, yeah. So I helped mug them on one of the litter picks. Um, up, not far from you, is it up the road towards Marble? Yeah, Marble Road, yeah. Yeah, and that, the yeah. difference to the road is that, you know, it's amazing because the, they'll come and cut all the grass and the hedges and it exposes all the litter that's been there for years. So just to see the road now and drive down it, it looks, you know, it just looks like a nice country road now rather than a, a litter fest. So. Yeah, it's loads of fest. I think we took, you know, we took a load of bags out that day and we've I've taken about 60 or 70 big orange bags full of litter out there that's been there for many years. So. But yeah. it looks better now, so I'm happy yeah. about it. So, yeah. yeah, it's cool. It is cool. Um, so obviously, a lot of people would be thinking, well, people shouldn't throw litter in the first place, so why should I have to go and, go and pick it up? But um, sometimes, like in this case, it was litter that's been there for years and gets kind of hidden in amongst the hedges. And obviously people still do throw litter and they kind of don't really think about what they're doing. So do you think it's quite cool to highlight uh, litter, you know, the litter problem yeah. in general to make it and it's been on the news isn't it so there's lots of groups in lots of different areas so if you want to get involved you know there'll be something on facebook for your area probably a group called the wombles or something like that you know so yeah. but, it's, but it's it's sort of cool it's, we're all making a huge difference to our local community you know as a group we've been running for almost three three months now i think and, and have filled about a thousand bags wow. So it's just great, it just makes a difference, doesn't it? It's just the right thing to do. And how Encourage you... people not to throw litter. Yeah. It'll sort of help, really. That's a big thing. Yeah. And how have you found the local council helping you? Well, yeah, they're good. So, yeah, I've got contacts in the council and they're helping. They provide me with bags and I share that amongst the community as well. We've got a number of us that run the group. So, yeah, we've got sort of four of us, three that are really, you know, fully active. And, and, and it's cool. So we share bags with people, you know, drop them at people's houses and whatever, which takes quite a bit of time. But yeah, yeah so council give us bags and then I message them and then they, they then pick up. You know, we use the Facebook medium, if you like, we use that to know, to show what we've done and yeah. then thank everyone, thank each other and that sort of feels good too. And then I just tell the council where they are and they pick them up, take them away. 
so, so they're pretty cool. They give us a few litter pickers now and then, you know, what they can afford. But yes. it is our problem, isn't it? Not the council's problem. Yes. We, we create the mess and the council have got a finite resource, so why not get out, see the local area and tidy it up? Yeah, because I guess as a community, you know, we don't personally throw litter, but as a community, some of us do throw the litter. So, yeah. yeah, we should kind of make it unacceptable to throw the litter and help clean it up, I guess. Um, so, in terms of like anybody else, desperate to do the same thing in their local area, would you recommend them get in touch with their local council? Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, they're called Street Scene in Flincher, so, but there will be an area of the council, you know, they'll have the, there'll be council website and, and just yeah. go on that and engage with them and they'll be great and they'll, they'll be more than happy to help you with it. You're not mm. taking their jobs away from them or anything of the sort, you're yeah. giving them more to do, yeah. if anything, so yeah, be part of it and help. Yeah. Why not? It's nice when you ride out on your motorbike and there's not litter everywhere, it just it feels better, it feels yeah. like it should be. Cool. It shouldn't be there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so Morg's been doing um, great work and he's probably got more involved in it than, than you thought you would, but he's made such a massive difference in his local area, picking up a lot of litter and the group as well, the group that's involved has been fantastic picking up litter and hopefully it'll be something that we won't actually have to do in the future because it'll be kind of an un unacceptable thing to do to throw it in the first place, but yeah, so Morg's been cool and yeah. if you feel like you want to do the same similar thing it seems like the local councils are generally pretty helpful they'll um, come and collect anything you collect if you leave it side the road and message them so yeah get in touch with the council and hopefully we can solve this problem in the well better at better place you know why yeah. not cool yeah. so yeah good advice right then so i'll carry on with them um, mt and mogs bike now and uh yeah speak to you in a minute